Confidence in one's masculinity is an essential quality that every man should possess. However, there are times when we unknowingly follow certain rules that can damage our confidence. In this video, we're going to discuss the 11 golden rules that, if followed, can undermine your confidence in being masculine. So let's get started. Rule number one, never ever compare yourself to other people. Comparing themselves unfavorably to other people is one of the most common and serious errors that men make. The comparison could be made to your job, your appearance, your social standing, or any other facet of your life. If you compare yourself to others, you are essentially admitting to yourself that you are not as good as the other people. This can have a devastating effect on your self-confidence and lead to feelings of inadequacy. The unfortunate reality is that there will always be someone else who appears to be in a better situation than you are in some way. However, concentrating on that will only divert your attention away from your own capabilities and successes. Instead, center your attention on the development and improvement of your own self. Honor all of your achievements, no matter how insignificant they may appear. Keep in mind that everyone is traveling their own path and that comparing yourself to others will only serve to slow you down and prevent you from moving forward. Rule number two, trying to win the approval of other people. Men often make the additional mistake of looking for approval from other people. When you go out of your way to win the approval of other people, you are essentially admitting to yourself that you value the opinions of those other people more than your own. This may cause you to lose faith in your own abilities to make decisions and carry them out. Seeking the approval of others can also cause one to engage in people-pleasing behavior, which is when one puts the requirements of other people ahead of their own. Instead, you should put your energy into cultivating your own sense of self-worth and having faith in your own judgment. You should ask for comments and suggestions from other people, but in the end, you should base your decisions on what you think is best for yourself. Rule number three, being too nice. It's great to be a nice guy, but there is such a thing as being too nice and it can actually hurt your confidence. When you are overly nice to other people, you are essentially putting their requirements and preferences ahead of your own. This can cause you to doubt your own capabilities as well as the things you want to accomplish. Instead, establish positive boundaries and put your own requirements and preferences first. It is acceptable to exercise your right to refusal occasionally and put your own health and happiness first. It is important to keep in mind that speaking up for yourself and being assertive are not the same thing as being impolite or disrespectful. Rule number four, avoiding risks. Taking calculated risks is necessary for both one's personal and professional development. However, there are some men who choose not to take chances because they are terrified of failing or being rejected. This can do serious damage to your self-confidence and keep you from accomplishing the things you want to. Instead, one should be willing to accept uncertainty and to take sensible risks. It is important to keep in mind that falling short is not the end, but rather an opportunity to improve and develop. Take baby steps towards achieving your goals and your confidence will grow as you progress. Rule number five, not advocating for your own self-interests. When you don't advocate for yourself, it's almost as if you're telling the people around you that you don't place much value in yourself. This can result in a loss of self-respect and confidence for the individual. It is essential to be confident in who you are and to assert your boundaries when appropriate. Instead, you should work on being assertive and being clear when you communicate your needs and wants. When you are being mistreated or treated with disrespect, you should not be afraid to say no or speak up for yourself. Keep in mind that you are worthy of being treated with respect and dignity at all times. Rule number six, neglecting your own health and well-being. Taking care of yourself is necessary for both your physical and mental health, and it should be a top priority. If you don't take care of yourself and your health, you're basically telling yourself that you don't matter or that you don't matter very much. This can result in a loss of confidence and a poor sense of one's own worth. Instead, Make taking care of yourself a top priority and schedule time in your schedule for activities that lift your mood. Take care of your body by engaging in physical activity, maintaining a healthy diet, and getting adequate rest. Take care of your mental health by engaging in activities that promote relaxation, reaching out for support from loved ones, and, if necessary, consulting a mental health professional for assistance. Rule number seven acting as if it serves no purpose. It is essential for one's own personal development and fulfillment to have a purpose in life. 
If you don't have anything that you're working towards in life, it can feel like you're just going through the motions. This can result in a lack of self-assurance as well as a lack of focus. Instead, set aside some time to reflect on your priorities, interests, and aspirations. Create meaningful goals that are in line with your purpose and make it a daily habit to work towards achieving those goals. Keep in mind that having a purpose in life is not only essential for your own health and happiness, but also for having a positive effect on the rest of the world. Rule number eight, not taking responsibility for your actions. It is absolutely necessary for one's own personal growth and development to accept responsibility for one's own actions. When you place the blame for your problems on other people or on external circumstances, you are essentially giving away your power and agency. This can result in a lack of confidence in one's own abilities, as well as a fear of making mistakes in one's professional and personal life in the future. Instead, you should acknowledge your shortcomings and accept responsibility for your behavior. This demonstrates maturity as well as a willingness to learn and develop further. Keep in mind that making errors is an inevitable part of the learning process and that acknowledging and owning up to your mistakes is an essential component of the process of growing as an individual. Rule number nine, doing nothing and moving on. Putting your plans into motion is necessary if you want to achieve your objectives and grow in self-assurance. If you put off taking action, you are essentially admitting to yourself that you do not have the ability to accomplish what you have set out to do. This can result in a lack of self-assurance as well as a feeling of being helpless. Instead, strive each day to advance a little bit closer to your objectives. Convert large tasks into smaller, more manageable ones by breaking them down. Honor your achievements along the way and let them serve as a source of inspiration to push you forward. Keep in mind that taking action is necessary for both your own personal development and the development of your confidence. Rule number 10, not being honest with yourself. It is necessary for both personal development and self-awareness to maintain an honest relationship with oneself. When you tell yourself lies or choose to be indifferent to your own emotions, you are, in effect, communicating to yourself that your own truth is unimportant. This can result in a lack of self-assurance, as well as a feeling of disconnection from one's own identity. Instead, engage in honest self-reflection as a daily practice. Spend some time reflecting on who you are and what you're thinking and feeling and give yourself permission to acknowledge both. Be truthful with yourself regarding your capabilities, particularly your limitations and potential growth areas. Always keep in mind that the first step towards achieving personal growth and developing self-confidence is to be honest with yourself. Rule number 11, being overly competitive. Being competitive is great, but being overly competitive can harm your confidence. When you're overly competitive, you're essentially telling yourself that your worth is based on how well you perform compared to others. This can lead to a lack of confidence and a constant need for validation from others. Instead, center your attention on the development and improvement of your own self. Compete with yourself rather than others. Set personal goals and work towards achieving them. Remember that your worth is not based on how well you perform compared to others, but rather on your own unique qualities and strengths. So those are the 11 golden rules that can destroy your masculine confidence. Remember, confidence is an essential trait that every man should possess, but sometimes we unknowingly follow certain rules that can harm our confidence. So take a look at your own life and see if you're following any of these rules. If you are, it's time to make some changes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And as always, stay confident.